My name is uh, Frank Connery. I'm the chair of the Earth, UCD Earth Institute here in UCD. And uh, I'd like to welcome very warmly our minister, our guests, and uh, colleagues to this session. Uh, before I get into the kind of introductions, uh, I would like to say thanks, first of all, to uh, our two colleagues, uh, Owen O'Neill and Finn Barbreton, who have been anchoring the organizing of this from the School of Geography, Planning, and Environmental Policy. Um, and secondly, uh, I would like to thank the government for uh, supporting through PRTLI uh, the creation and development of the UCD Earth Institute. We know that money is incredibly short. Uh, when the new government came in, we half anticipated that our project would be stopped, but it wasn't. In fact, there's a crane over there manifesting its construction at present. Hugh Brady is offering to bring guided tours for a fee of one of the few working cranes in Dublin, so it's a, it's a particular feature. But it really is uh, important. We know from our biblical studies that only one out of ten typically come back to say thanks for being cured or being financed. So we want to be the tenth who said thank you. So thank you very much indeed for that support. It's very, very critical. Um, the flooding issue, of course, uh, has many, many strands. It always uh, reminds me, working as I do with various professions in UCD and otherwise, uh, you immediately get impressed by the fact that every profession thinks it has the solution to most problems, but flooding in particular. There's a kind of professional imperative of what the French call an e-day fix. So engineers nearly always think they can build their way out of the problem. It's a structural reflex. Planners think they can land use zone the problem out of existence. Ecologists usually say, after some thought, we shouldn't really do anything because nature has its own imperatives. Economists, of which I'm one, we think of incentives and prices as the key drivers and so on. Architects have an infinite faith in the efficacy of design. If the design is right, the outcome will be right. If you enjoyed this seminar, for example, it's not because the speakers are great, the program was great, it's because the ambience of this building was just perfect for this event, and so on. Lawyers, of course, look at liability. If only we could make local authority politicians liable for the stupidities they impose on us in terms of zoning, the problem would be solved, and so on. And the fact is, of course, that the solution is all of the above. Every piece of that jigsaw is critical. We have to design with nature, so the ecological thing is important. We have to get the incentives right. We have to get land use right. We have to get the engineering right. We have to get the legal situation right. And uh, that really is, I suppose, what this session is an opening shot about, is trying to get those pieces of the, the jigsaw. Um, the Office of Public Works is a critical engine in this whole uh, piece of Irish policy. Um, Richard Bruton and I, in an earlier life, when we were at ESRI, we did a, an ex-post analysis of land drainage, uh, which was managed then by the Office of Public Works. Um, interestingly, uh, we were able to do an economic analysis because the engineers in the Office of Public Works, in the legislation that established the drainage program, they had to do a, essentially a benefit-cost analysis. They had to look after the project. They valued the land before it was drained, they valued it afterwards. And it allowed us to look back and see many terrific projects in the more recent times then, some not so good ones. And uh, it was, I think, one signal that that agency has that capacity to reach out beyond the, if the statute essentially requires it, they do it and they did it extremely well. And to me, it's a kind of an exemplar of, of kind of broadening the tableau and the skill set and the analytical platform to essentially address this wonderfully interesting and exciting challenge. The Earth Institute that I mentioned before, uh, which is 
being constructed now as we speak. The big idea we have there is to bring all the disciplines together under one roof, the engineers, the scientists, the economists, the lawyers, and so on, the planners, to, set, to address the big, big challenges. Uh, because we are convinced, and I think it's obvious, that we cannot progress in Ireland uh, without doing things differently and smarter than ever before. Uh, we don't have the money, we have a lot of capacity, and the idea is that with smart science, smart technology, and smart policy, we can literally become uh, world leaders generally. And I think the, uh, this whole flooding area and the kind of interface with climate change and with other areas is, I think, a terrific example of how we can move this, uh, this agenda forward. Um, the silo mentality, which of course pervades in government, it pervades in universities, pervades everywhere. We have to find ways of breaking those down right across the board, where good ideas, good people, wherever they come from, from whatever perspective they have, are essentially become part of our uh, solution. We're determined in UCD, and this Earth Institute is a partnership with Trinity and with uh, Galway and Limerick and Queens and so on, to do our bit to, to, to essentially bring that kind of innovation dimension to bear.